Industrial real estate is any property that has two things, loading dock and the ability to store products or manufacture products inside. If it doesn't have a loading dock, chances are pretty good it's not an industrial building because you can't get a pallet load of product in and out of a building unless the, the truck dock is at the same height as the truck. What happens is the truck backs up and then there's a metal plate that's called a leveler and the leveler goes straight up and then straight down and there's a lip on it so that the forklift truck driver doesn't fall in the little crevice between the truck and the floor of the building. So these docks are four feet high exactly, which is exactly the same height as every over the road truck. If you can't get product in and out using truck docks, a building is useless. The other thing that's important is that there has to be a high enough ceiling. Ceiling height is critical because if you can't stack your product up high enough or if you have a machine and the top of the machine is too close to the ceiling, you can't operate it. So those are the two major factors. Uh, warehouse space is, um, it's variable. It depends on the type of operation. Some companies are uh, just manufacturers and they have very little warehouse. They can live with a, small, a lower ceiling height. A real estate, a class A warehouse space is generally newer, built in the last seven or 10 years, very high ceilings, extremely flat floors, many truck docks, uh, all the amenities. A very important one is the type of sprinkler system for uh, fire protection. There's something called ESFR, uh, early suppression, fast response. It's a deluge system. So if there's a fire, this thing puts out the fire quickly. In the old days, you had to, you had to uh, attach the sprinkler from the pipe up on the ceiling into the racks. And so at a very expensive cost, every single rack spot where you put a pallet used to have to have a sprinkler head. The ESFR is such a strong deluge system that any kind of product sitting in a rack will get wet if the sprinkler goes off in the event of a fire. So the uh, number of truck docks is very important. You have to have a lot of truck docks if there's a lot of traffic, if there's a tremendous amount of product going inside and outside of the warehouse. I'd say that the, the most important thing um, really is, is location. They need to be near the highway. If you've got a class A building and you have to travel for 15 minutes, the cost of paying a truck driver and the cost of that truck going back and forth between the tollway or the highway and that location is prohibitive because there's so many trucks traveling back and forth. So class A is in a great location and also has to usually have a very uh, high visual image. It has to be something that's attractive. They have so many great designs now for warehouses. You can't even tell it's a warehouse. They're beautiful windows in front. And when you drive by, you see that it's mammoth and you see that there's a concrete uh, wall that usually is painted some color so that it's attractive with different kinds of um, designs on the side to break it up. But if it's not attractive, Users have a lot of choices. A lot of brand new buildings are being built and the architects are competing to make them prettier. Class B, a little bit older, a little bit of a lower ceiling height, fewer docks. Uh, in class C, lower ceiling, kind of unattractive, older bricks, older windows, maybe inadequate loading docks. Um, I think that the, the number one thing that, that a C building is compared to an A building is a C building can be used by any small company. An A building is the favored building for the larger corporations, for the Amazon type of companies, uh, for Target that has to have a warehouse in each area where they have stores. They like the high ceilings, the pretty uh, exteriors and great access to the highways.